My name is Josh Wood, and uh, I guess I uh, I know that a major criticism of Josh Fox's film is that it uh, it doesn't provide uh, both sides. It's selective use of information, and I know, for instance, that Secretary Hanger and the portrayal that Josh Fox had in Gasland didn't include all of the interview. Right? In other words, it was selectively uh, edited. And I, and I assume that you probably did the same thing in your in the editing of of Truthland. Actually, you can go on our website and see the complete interviews. They are there. Well, fair, fair enough. I guess the question I know is, I know that uh, I have a question for the Secretary Hanger and Scott Roberts perhaps can chime in with him on that, and then and then one for you, uh, Shelley, is that uh, the DEP, while Secretary Hanger was in office made a determination that a number of families in the town of the community of Dimmick had their water directly affected by gas drill. In other words, they made a formal finding that methane had migrated as a result of gas drilling activities. Now, I have traveled to Dimmick. I have sat in the living rooms of many of the families along Carter Road. I've seen, I've, I've been to Norma Fiorentino's house where her, her well blew up on New Year's Day in 2009 as a result of this gas that had migrated into her well. And they, all of them to a person, say that they did not have pre-existing methane pollution in their drinking water prior to gas drilling occurring. And they said that it was after Cabot Oil came in and started drilling that the problem started. And DEP did a finding that it was Cabot, Cabot's poor well casing that caused the contamination that occurred, the methane migration in maybe 20 some families. Uh, and, and so I guess the question I have to Secretary Hanger, can you verify, Mr. Secretary, the finding that DEP had as far as the water contamination in the wells? And then I would ask Shelley, why didn't you interview any of the families whose wells only started to have methane problems after gas drilling had occurred where DEP made the finding that it affected their houses. There is an interview in the movie with one of those 18 families, Mr. Salson, who clearly says in the movie that once gas drilling happened, methane migrated. He says there was a mistake in the drilling, and his and the concentrations of gas in his well goes up. Take another look at that part of the movie. I think that's a very important interview, and it is very frankly both sides of the story. You saw nothing like that in Josh Fox's story. Nothing like that whatsoever. He goes on to say that the, de that the company, gas company, fixed the problem. I would quickly say, after a tremendous fight uh, involving the regulators, uh, I don't believe that happened easily, uh, but he, he correctly says that cement was uh, pumped in to fix uh, uh, some of the wells that we suspected, the gas wells that we suspected were causing the gas migrate. And he goes on to say his methane levels went down. And when I left office, that had happened in 14 of the 18 gas well, uh, water wells. The methane levels had fallen below the actual level. And four, at the time I left office, still had methane levels above the actual level. So the movie does have an interview with one, one above uh, the 18 families. And the movie does say gas did migrate, and it does say because it was a mistake in, in the gas drilling, and it does go on to say that the, the problem is fixed. All of that, as far as I know, is accurate. Uh, and, and I think you would have to say, Jeff, if you looked at that, that's a pretty balanced uh, presentation of that issue. Now, there, there, as I said again, there were four cases as of uh, essentially January 2011, where methane levels had not returned uh, below the levels that we had uh, set for action by, by DEP. I personally do not know the status of those four, four water wells, and, and I'm not privy to the uh, test results. Obviously, the EPA has done further testing at the request of many of the families in, involved uh, in Dimmick, and they, they have tested for chemicals and other pollutants, and uh, they have reported that the water is quote unquote safe. They did find some arsenic in one of the water wells at high levels. Uh, that is not necessarily a surprise, uh, and, and it's not attributed to gas for them. Uh, so uh, I, I think it, the movie does, in fact, it, uh, state that there was 
yes, that the gas migrating in Dimmit caused by mistakes in gas drilling. And at, at least that part of the discussion is, 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 is balanced in the loop. Now, to Representative Vitale's points, does it cover all of the problems associated with gas drilling? No, it doesn't. It's a 34 minute loop. And it clearly was edited in a way to, to in, in essence, uh, rebut gas drilling. And, and specifically, that iconic moment of water erupting in, in, a, in the fireball at a tap. That's the point of the loop. It's not a complete discussion by any means uh, of, of those issues, of all issues associated with gas. Well, just to answer the question I asked you, which was, how many families did DEP make a determination? 18. 18 families DEP found had, had methane migration as a result of gas drilling in that area. Yeah, I said that. I had, I had, that. And basically, I know that the gentleman that was interviewed in the movie said that he had pre-existing gas problems in as well. The people I'm referring to are people who all said they did not have pre-existing gas problems. I wish we, could, wish we could play the movie. He says, maybe we should replay it. He um, says specifically, now stop with this guy. He specifically says, yes, he had some pre-existing levels. And he goes on to say that once gas drilling was done, that the levels went up higher. I heard that. I, yeah. I know. And he said that, that, that there was mistakes in gas drilling. And he's one of the 18. I know. I, I just wanted to make sure that the DEP was quoted as saying that, because that did not show up in the movie. Fair enough. As, as we at DEP engaged and started the investigation of the claims that frac fluids were contaminating water, we didn't find any of the chemicals from fracking, but we didn't find nothing. Right. When we examined what information we had available, both from Cabot's free drilling surveys, whatever they had, uh, and whatever other samples we had in his water sport, what we found was methane was not tested for. So there was no analytical evidence one way or the other. So all we had were the statements and anecdotal evidence of residents in the area. Some people said, we've always had gas. Some people said, we didn't. None of that evidence was particularly compelling, one way or the other. What we knew was, we had high levels of methane that we felt were actionable. We took action we required Cabot to deal with the problem. As Secretary Aaron Yeah, we did, we did isotopic testing of the gas to try to differentiate between biogenic, pre-existing naturally occurring gas and gas that may well have migrated from, uh, from uh, a gas well as a result of gas drilling. And in the case of 18, we found thermogenic gas. And there were other reasons why we made the finding that there were 18 uh, water wells that had been contaminated as a result of the methane migrating. Uh, and if, if you think the movie would have been better with an explicit statement uh, that uh, he, he made such a finding, I would agree with you.